Hey, what's up, guys? It's Steph, man. Back with a quick video. Back with another unboxing. Today, we're going to be unboxing our buddy right here. The brand new Charge and Play rechargeable battery plus the USB-C cable kit for the Xbox Series X and S, right? Really love this thing, man. I mean, with everything, Apple, I just did a video on that. Link in the description right about there. About USB-C, right? So, uh, Microsoft has been offering this for quite some time. Uh, this is called the Xbox Charge and Play Kit. Uh, inside, again, you get the lithium-ion battery and the USB-C cable. Enough talking, man. Let's get into it. And you can pick this up from your local retailer like Target, Walmart, or etc. I think this is $29. Bucks. I got this on sale for $24.99. Still love that sound, man. Still satisfying. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, it just slides out, man. Let's get it. Wow, this thing is tiny. Okay. So, here's our battery right here. Really good look, man. Does this just fold out? Okay. Let's go ahead and unravel this. Wow. And there's our battery right there, man. Beautiful kind of uh, Xbox branding right there. Shimmers a little bit in the light. Love that. And here's our lithium ion battery. So I was reading online, they said you can get about 20 hours plus of playtime out of this. I really, really like it, man. I think that's cool. Let's see what else comes in the box. Very long USB C cable. They went uh, uh, micro, not micro, uh, USB B to USB C. What I would have liked to have seen is USB C to USB C. But, you know, neither here nor there. Here's our USB-C cable. This mug is extremely long, so I really like that. I'm going to be using that, you know, to charge my, my Xbox controller. Inside, we have a literature and some regulatory information, right? Don't need none of that. Now I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to put this thing on. Now, if you're like me, you really like the charge and play kits and things of this sort. Previously, I've been using this third-party accessory, but it's micro USB uh, versus USB-C. So having to find a micro USB charger to put it inside here and then charge this up. I bought the stand. I think I did a review on that like four or five years ago. You just put this on the stand and it charges it up. But to be able to have just one cable for everything, your phone, your tablet, your chargers, or your uh, game controllers, that's what it's all about. So let's take this one out, out with the old and with the new. And this is what this looks like here. Uh, this was pretty cool when I did the review on this. But very simply, we got our uh, special edition Starfield controller. Man, I love this controller. And can't forget our Storm Cloud Vapor. Did a review on that one right about there. So let's go simply just go ahead and put this in. I believe it goes just like this. And then you just put this in. <laughs> All into the Starfield. Uh, I love that, man. <laughs> and then just throw this in. And you're set to go. Now, when it comes to charging, you're simply just going to take the cable, plug it into the USB-C port that they have right here already built into the controller, and then charge this with some sort of USB-B brick that you have. Uh, all your old iPhones came with one. Uh, Androids come with one. Uh, pretty much, you got one laying around the house. So don't worry about charging it. But here's the problem that I have with this whole thing, man. Xbox, you know you're my fave, man, but here's the problem that we got, right? So I finally got a USB-C charging play kit, whatever they want to call this, rechargeable battery for Xbox. But Xbox, I have purchased pretty much every Xbox that you all have come out with. Why did it take so long? Or not, not even take so long. Where are we at with the new stream of time, man? Where we're at right now, right? Look at PlayStation. This battery is not removable at all. It comes with the USB-C. It comes with the USB-C to USB-C cable. Like the battery is built in. Now, I believe there's a $6 difference between the Xbox controller, which is our $69.99, and then the PlayStation controllers, which are like $75.99 or $74.99. So like a $5 or $6 difference. But for that $6, man, I would pay $6 extra to have this already built in and not be worried about this. Like, I love the detail on you all's controllers, but come on, man, get with the times. I don't want to have to buy another accessory because now that makes this controller 
like $85, where this one is still $74.99 and it already has the battery in here. Like there's nothing for you to replace. So Xbox, what I'm looking for for you is all of the controllers that myself and other Xbox personnel have purchased. It's your next controller, your next gaming system, the next thing that you do. We already got rid of the elusive power brick, thank God. But let's move forward with the times. Stop making these replaceable. Stop making it to where we can do this ourselves. Make them already built in. That way, when we get a cable, all we have to do is charge our controller. I don't know if it's taken away from any of you all's profit margin, but the profit margin or something is $25, let alone the fact that this box probably costs you all $6 to make and then another $2 for all the shipping and everything else. It's not worth it. For So for someone like myself that absolutely loves Xbox, man, I'm going to keep buying the controllers. You all make new ones and cool ones all the time. And in the Xbox Lab, I'm not getting on a rant too much. The Xbox Lab, I absolutely love. Xbox Lab is like why controllers like this even exist. But again, I want to be able to not have the user replaceable batteries. I want it already built in. Sony got it right on the first time, man. Let's do it again now this year, Xbox, because I heard through the grapevine, 2024, you're supposed to be dropping some new uh, Xbox. It got leaked. Uh, put the picture right up there. But let's go ahead and do it, man. Next Xbox controller, let's show Sony what you're made of. It's the battle of the systems, man. No longer is it which one is best. Which one has one cable? Which one will let you charge your phone or charge your, your controller right from the gates? Right now, Sony is winning, man. Let's get it, you know? So that was my quick unboxing review and rant <laughs> about Xbox uh, the Xbox rechargeable battery with the USB-C cable, the Xbox charge and play kit, and USB-C as a whole, where I stand on it. Get it together, Xbox. I'm counting on you. So this has been Steph with a quick unboxing review and a rant. <laughs> and until the next video, guys, it's been Steph, man. Let's get it.